Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today is day seven of Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen. We are almost done. I'm so excited. Let's see how many boxes I get checked off today. I'm kind of excited not to have to worry about the boxes and just worry about eating all the pasta. Yeah, starch solution. Bring it on, baby. Bring on the bread, bring on the pasta. Let's see how I do. I might be begging for mercy and looking for potatoes. We'll see how the greens do with me. All right, let's get started and see what I eat today. I'm gonna do a, a little puff date because I had that Amy's meal last night, so I wanna see what my face looks like in the morning again and see how the puffiness situation is handling the Amy's that I ate last night. All right, let's go. Definitely not as bad as it could be. The bags are there, but not completely horrible. So food definitely matters and how your eyes look. Here we are with the morning puff date. And this one's always good. Let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, amazingly, amazingly, it is not as puffy even as it was like two days ago. So the Amy's, the one Amy's meal I had last night, no effect whatsoever. I ate this plain bagel while I was making my coffee and you're welcome boys because I eat bagels like the sexiest woman on the planet for sure. Do you like the extra everything around my face? How is anybody supposed to even contemplating giving up something that looks so magical like hello how beautiful is the coffee? I was trying to like take a video for you guys and I literally got hypnotized by my coffee swirling around in my cup because it looked all sparkly and steamy and hot and sweet and yummy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm giving up the coffee. I actually managed to check off my exercise box today. Two miles, 40 minutes, watch some housewives, sweated i had sweat stains so it was torture okay it was exercise ew i need to get some beans in me and this is my favorite way to get the beans in me so just just let me live my life okay i love my amy's bean burritos these are like home to me okay like home don't do this i did it it used to work good it doesn't work good anymore don't wrap your burrito in the paper. Don't. Because you'll end up with half of it stuck to the paper towel. And then how are you going to do pretty Instagram pictures with a broken burrito? <sighs> I decided that I was going to add some hot sauce. That wasn't sriracha for a change. So I'm going to try this chipotle habanero pepper. I haven't had it in a while but I'm gonna throw some on there and try it out. And I got some romaine yesterday from Costco, so I cut up some leaves, broke up some leaves, whatever, and put it under my burrito to try and salvage the situation as much as possible. So yeah, here's my burrito. But I think I need to add something else to it because it's not gonna taste that great, like, just like that. So I squeezed half a lemon on top and put some almond butter on there. So it'll kind of be like a taco salad-y sort of thing. And orange juice to drink because it's my fave. I decided that I needed some hummus in my life. So this is one can of organic chickpeas and it's not a big can and I rinsed them really well until they weren't foamy anymore because th that's how I make hummus. You gotta rinse them well. And then I put in two cloves of garlic, some cumin, a ton of garlic powder, plus two cloves of garlic, the juice of one big lemon, 
and some salt, some like Himalayan sea salt, and teeny. And then you just blend and blend. Oh, and I also used some Natura unsweetened soya milk to make it creamier. You don't have to use soy milk. You could just use water or you could use the liquid from the chickpeas. But I like the way a little bit of unsweetened nature soy milk makes it. Now that I got that made, I'm going to put it in the fridge because it always tastes better once it's sat for a while. Just like anything, you want to let, let the flavors blend together. Okay? You can sit and look and see whatever you want to see in the magical, the magical hummus, <laughs> like clouds in the sky. So I started to feel a little bit snacky and I was looking through my list and I realized that I needed berries in my life desperately and some more fruit. So I thought I'd whip up this quick snack of blueberries and a cut up organic apple with almond butter and dates. I needed to get in my veggie servings and my cruciferous vegetable serving plus the spices. So I decided to make some roasted vegetables with turmeric, black pepper, some teriyaki sauce, garlic powder, chili powder, and that's it. I forgot about the Brussels sprouts. We definitely need the Brussels sprouts in there because I'm growing to love them more by the day. I did these in my toaster oven on like 400 degrees Fahrenheit for probably a good 20 if 20 minutes at least and oh yeah let me tell you roasted veggies are where it's at and this was so good you guys also needed to get an extra serving of beans in there so hummus to the rescue and I thought, why not make myself a little hummus salad with some nutritional yeast on there for the B12? Huh? Huh? Do you like that? I got some B12 in today. Right? Proud. Totally almost forgot the flax for the day, but... Dun, 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 dun. Once again, hashtag proud of myself. And that everything but the bagel seasoning is to die for. That is it. That is everything that I ate today on my final day of Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen. We are moving on to the starch solution tomorrow. I'm proud of myself that I checked off all my boxes for the day. I didn't miss anything, so pat on the back for me for that. Mm -hmm. I'm proud that I left on a high note and I ate all those bagels today preparing preparing myself for the beginning of Dr. McDougall's starch solution. That's right. Week three of the Tour de Vegan is Dr. McDougall's starch solution. And I love Dr. McDougall so much that I'm doing two weeks of his in a row. That's right. We're going from starch to solution to McDougall's maximum weight loss program. The book he said he wished he'd never written. All right. I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day, and I will see you guys on next video.